Venezuela already in the final, waiting for the winner of this fixture. Two of the biggest names in the competition. This is France, the 1998 World Cup winner, lining up plenty of minutes in the group stage phase of this tournament. As we see the two captains meeting up in midfield just ahead of this matchup with Ashimta. So here it is, the 11 for L3. They will be depending against Argentina. Here they go again. Can they make their mark again quickly? Sima with a risky looking back pass. Goalkeeper's off his line. What a chance. What an opportunity for Mexico, for Oziel Herrera. It's an overconfident back pass. Goalkeeper Barbe off his line. It was almost too casual. A couple of options here. Aushish is one of them. Simignani is another. It's whipped in by Adil Aushish and Mexico would get great movement there from Ayushik, it's a good save, it's a tap-in and the flag stays down. Another goal at the Tornwa Maurice Rivelu for Sekomara. His fourth, he's the top scorer here and he's given France the lead in the semi-final. It's all made by Ayushik, though, look at this little swivel of the hips to get himself away from the fullback goalkeeper has to do better than that old green just pushes it into the path of mara but that's the bit of brilliance and mara did the rest he's having some tournament seku mara so too Whipped across and never under any pressure there. Barbe. He did wonder just for a moment where that was going. Efrain Alvarez, it is a quality delivery too. And Barbe got a flick on it. We've got a good angle here to see that he definitely touched that with his right hand. It's quite a big touch as well. Gume prodded through again towards Mara. It falls for a Gume. France are making very easy work of this. The captain with the second. A Mexican mistake. They had a chance to clear and failed. And Agume just swept it home with real class. Well taken goal. And already you feel France have a foot in the final. Gume into Akliush, goalkeeper that got himself into a strange position if you watch this again. Akliush prodding it through and it was cleared half away and Holguin having gone to narrow one angle couldn't get back across. Still you have to take the chance though and Agume took it very well. Ran away from him there didn't he and uh, Oziel Herrera yeah pretty much as cynical as it gets. and he looked to release that early in the end he finds Simignani and I'll tell you what that was bound for the far corner important intervention there from Jesus Rivas caught this really well Simignani already scored uh, twice in that win against Saudi Arabia make it look so simple Akliush now didn't quite have the pace to get away but he manages to pick out Mara who should have made it three Akliush Agume and the turn from Mara. He didn't have to wait long. A second of the game for him, a third for France. And France are on their way to the final. To five for the tournament. We'll have a cooling break, but already you wonder what can Raul Chabran do here. Bearing in mind he just missed an excellent opportunity. How well does he take that? After that desperate relegation with Bordeaux. Which he finished the season really strongly. 
scored in five of the last seven so he came into this tournament in good form and here's Akliush lovely turn there from Akliush goes both ways and foul by Pizzuto there's such a well-balanced set of players look at this from Akliush first turn then the second there was nothing that Pizzuto was good Akliush was that's whipped in by Oshish, just off the crossbar. Close to a fourth French goal. See how close. It dipped just over Old Green. France look for a fourth. Good hit, Oshish. Good save this time by Old Green. Yeah, Colombia in 2011, the only side in the last 13 tournament Maurice Chavello to win it after not winning their opening game and right Oziel Herrera and then he laid it off and the effort dipping over the crossbar little chop inside from Oziel Herrera hit it with the laces Have they lead Mexico by three goals to nil with Sekumara scoring himself a brace goals in minute 13 and the 31 for the French forward. Stay with us. The halftime show is coming up. Had too many chances as Sildilia burst through. It's Mbuku. There's a further pass for Ayushish. Should be 4 1 France and he's frustrated. They always had the player over here. It's great burst from Sildilia. Buku did the right thing and well, he had to be able to hit it first time, really. Ayushish, didn't he? Ayushish now. Mexico able to counter with Medina and they have managed to get Alvarez in here. And Alvarez spoons it just wide. And when you saw it was him and that he got it onto his left foot, you thought it was 3-2. Excellent this from Medina. How far away was he? he? Chops it back inside. Not far is the answer. But he'll be frustrated that he didn't score. This will tell us. Oh, he starts it too far outside the post. By some way. Here's Mara. Got Mbuku alongside him. Aushish is forward as well. Mara, though, with a really good trick to try and create the space. Now then, can Aushish finish? Oh, he can. Just glorious. That puts France into the final. It's from Aushish. Mara plays his part with that great feat. And he gave Aushish the opportunity one-on-one. -on -one. And look how well he takes that. Build-up was great as well. Use the defender as a screen. Medina curled it home. That will do it. Mara has been replaced. His next appointment will be the uh, there's Mbuku. And Richardson trying to get his feet sorted and. He gets the shot away. Scrambling save by Hector Olguin. They defeat Mexico by four goals to one to secure their spot in the final that will take place June the 12th against Venezuela. Thank you so much for watching this presentation of the 2022 Maurice Rebello tournament on a be in sports. It will be France, Venezuela in the final of the tournament on June the 12th. Make sure that you do not miss any second of it. We will have it right here exclusively on your home for the Maurice Rebello tournament be in sports. From Antonio Quirino, arrivederci.